Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be adding another page to the Logia section of the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia by examining the Sooner Sooner No Me. The Sooner Sooner No Me is a Logia type fruit that gives its user the ability to conjure, manipulate, and become sand. It was eaten by former Warlord of the Sea, Sir Crocodile, and its powers were first technically displayed during the Little Garden Arc. However, its true nature would not become known until the Alabaster Arc. This time around the etymology is fairly simple as the Japanese word Suna simply means sand. And this, rather boringly, resulted in a uniform translation of the fruit name across all three major English One Piece distribution companies. And guess what it is? It's the sand sand fruit. Thankfully, the abilities of this fruit are exponentially more entertaining than its name. First up, as is standard with Logia type fruits, the most immediate power bestowed upon the user is that of intangibility. So we're starting out already immune to all attacks except for those which are Haki imbued or that take advantage of the specific elemental weakness of sand, which we'll get to in a bit. But before that, I feel like I should highlight the fact that the Suna Suna no Mi is a bit of unique Logia fruit because it provides a lot more variety than simple elemental control. A basic example of this is the fact that the Suna Suna no Mi allows the user to create sandstorms, which is a pretty devastating power, particularly in combat as it allows the user to very effectively blind enemies and heavily suppress their movement. But the maddening bonus ability of the Suna Suna no Mi is the power to absorb liquids. Now this may not sound so great at first, but in reality this is probably the most fantastic strength this Devil Fruit has to offer. The removal of moisture essentially results in the death of any living thing, meaning that so long as the user of the Suna Suna no Mi is touching that thing, it's pretty screwed as our main protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, discovered during Alabaster. However, this ability does not need to be used in such a dark manner, as the user is also able to crumble any non-metallic substance by dehydrating it to the point where it withers, so substances like rocks and wood can simply melt away at the user's whim. Although it should be noted that this action is unable to be performed on metal, or even substances with traces of metal, such as rocks which contain any form of iron. Furthermore, the user of the Suna Suna no Mi also appears to have the capacity to sense anything moving through sand, which is pretty insane, although I'm not entirely sure how useful this particular ability is. I suppose you'd be able to find underground rivers or get a sense for the living things traveling through sand, but even then, taking advantage of this power is all very dependent on you being in a desert-like location. Although in regards to that, the user of the Suna Suna no Mi does have one rather important trick up their sleeves, which is that they could simply create their own miniature desert by using the aforementioned ability to absorb liquid and wither their surroundings into a wonderfully comfortable sandy paradise. Paradise for the user of the fruit, that is. Not not so much for anyone else. But now we should address the frankly crippling weakness of the Suna Suna no Mi, and that is that despite the fact that this fruit has the cool ability to absorb liquid, should the user become coated in an external liquid, let's say water for the sake of argument, then they temporarily lose their ability to become sand for the duration of what we'll call the wet period. And that makes a certain degree of sense because water does bind sand, but the main issue here is that this weakness seems to come into effect with any liquid. So for example, blood, sweat, saliva, whatever it is, the use of it will allow you to strike the Suna Suna no Mi user as if they were a normal person. And this is quite abysmal for a Logia fruit. I mean, each of them theoretically have their own elemental weaknesses, but liquid is just far too easily accessible. And you don't even need that much of it either, as demonstrated by Luffy, who was able to hit Crocodile with a light coat of blood on his fists. To top it all off, if the user's entire body ends up doused in liquid, then they experience a temporary paralysis, becoming frozen in place until enough liquid has dissipated, which doesn't take too long, but it certainly is long enough to have some major damage dealt to you. So for all the cool powers you gain along with the capacity to become sand, the fact that you can be so easily counted is worrying to say the least. With that said, let's take a closer look at how Crocodile was able to make use of the Suna Suna no Mi. He's quite a proficient wielder actually, and has innovated attacks such as Desert Sparta, in which he forms his right hand into a blade of sand and lashes out at an opponent. This sandy blade is exceptionally dangerous and will split seemingly anything it comes into contact with. But Crocodile also has a more extreme version of this attack named Desert Laspada, whereby he creates multiple solid blades. And the solid part is actually very important because the initial sand blade was not solid. However, even these blades can be broken with enough force. Quite notably, Crocodile is also able to use the Logia powers of the Suna Suna no Mi to achieve a form of flight by turning the lower portion of his body into sand and using it as a propulsion mechanism. So that's a very handy tool to have, but other than 
than that, I have to say that Crocodile probably isn't the best user the Suna Suna no Mi could have. And this issue mainly spawns from the fact that Crocodile is more of a mastermind planner than he is a combatant. And his fruit, at least to me, seems like it would be much more geared towards combat. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a sand human. In addition to water, it's entirely possible that fire and heat could also act as a counter to the Suna Suna no Mi. That's because when one combines fire and sand, the result is glass. So in theory, if the user were to encounter such heat while in sand form, then they should liquefy. Although there is some evidence to potentially quash this idea, which is brought to us courtesy of the Marine Fedark. When Crocodile struck Akainu, a Magma Logia user, and it did not appear to immediately affect Crocodile's sand. Still, the potential to become glass is there. A user of the Suna Suna no Mi would also need to be extraordinarily careful about how they bathe, as completely covering your body in water seems to result in paralysis. So you'd probably have to wash yourself bit by bit, which sounds mildly annoying. And moreover, if you do have any enemies that know your weakness, then they will almost certainly be waiting for shower time in order to strike. All in all, the Suna Suna no Mi is a pretty high risk, high reward fruit. It grants the user a slew of extra functionality than your standard Logia fruits, but you have to deal with one tremendous weakness, as well as the fact that sand isn't really that great of an element to begin with anyway in the grand scheme of things. But if you can pull off the balancing act of managing those weaknesses, then this fruit has some serious potential. I wouldn't call it one of the better fruits in the series, but it's worth some genuine consideration. And with that, we are going to commit the Suna Suna no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we will be examining the Baku Baku no Mi, a surprisingly fun fruit that bestows its user with the ability to eat, well, anything. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Suna Suna no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.